Hello everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. Welcome to my channel, Jersey Shore Pondscapes Videos. My name is Chris. We talk all about koi ponds and water gardens and everything having to do with them, from aquatic plants to the fish to pond filtration to troubleshooting design, construction, the whole bit here. So uh, please take some time, take a look through the playlists here on my channel and you can help, uh, it'll help you to find your way around and find a video you're looking for. Um, some people have commented that my channel is like a free online video course. So I think that's really cool. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to help you guys, provide you with some information, some helpful tips, and some things that I've learned over the past 25, 30 years of building koi ponds and, and you know working with all this stuff. So again, thank you very much for your time. Today we are doing another video in my whole little series of videos about pond plants. Um, we have a plant here today that is really striking. It's a very cool plant for your pond. Your hummingbirds will love you for having it. Um, it is called cardinal flower. So um, really, really neat plant. So we're going to dive into it. I'm going to tell you all about it, um, how to grow it, you know, different varieties, the whole bit. Um, so yeah, I do have a whole series of videos here on my channel with all different kinds of plants for your pond, uh, just to give you an idea of what's available, what's out there, um, how to grow them, you know, what conditions they like. So, um, you know, please check out all that stuff as well. So the cardinal flower um, is in a family of plants called lobelia. Now lobelia, most commonly when you mention lobelia to uh, most gardeners, they think of a small, low-growing, um, blue-flowered annual that's great for like in front of flower beds, you know, a low-growing like blue carpet of flowers, um, or in flower pots to underplant, you know, larger plants. Um, that's definitely very common, and the hummingbirds do love that as well. <laughs> but the cardinal flower that we're talking about here today for our ponds is a, a much bigger variety that can grow two to three foot tall. Um, it is a perennial, but it is a kind of a, um, a touchy perennial. And what I mean by that is um, it generally lives for you know two, maybe three years, and then it kind of uh, withers away. Um, so it does need to be replanted every few years. Now the cardinal flower can also reseed itself. So sometimes you'll end up, you know, with more. <laughs> um, for me personally, I do have it planted in my uh, landscape bed here where I have my hummingbird feeders. And um, I had it for two years strong. It looked great. The third year, um, it did not do so well. Um, I had two plants. Um, one of them did start growing, the other one did not. Um, that may be my fault because I did transplant them at one point in time in the early spring. Um, and then maybe I disrupted something, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, in general, I have heard that, you know, they, they grow maybe two, three years and then you need to, you know, replant them. Um, they will grow, like I said, two to three feet tall. They're flower stalks. They get these beautiful red flowers, vibrant red flowers on top of them. Um, you know, that get, you know, two, three feet tall. And they like an uh, area in part sun to full sun. Now, the trick is with that, too. Um, they don't love the hot heat very much. So even though they're good in full sun, um, kind of the rule of thumb with it is, you know, the further south you are, the hotter your summers are, you might want to provide it with a little more shade, at least that um, afternoon shade to keep it out of the direct, hot, blazing summer sun. In northern climates where the temperatures are a little bit cooler, um, it can take more sun, all right? Um, but really, really, cool plant definitely uh, a really nice looking plant it's kind of very different it has kind of an exotic look to the to the um, plant itself um, most varieties have a green leaf um, it's a nice lush green leaf there is another variety that i have seen that has like that gr dark green to like a bronzy red colored leaf 
um, that's a pretty striking plant as well. Um, now, your red flowers on the cardinal um, flower <laughs> is by far the most common. I mean, 99% of the times when you find cardinal flower, it's going to be that vibrant red flower. Now, there are other av um, varieties available that are a, a pink, there's a blue, and there's even a white. Um, honestly, I have never seen those. Um, you know, <laughs> like I said, 99% of the time you're buying cardinal flower, it's the red one. Um, but there are those other varieties available. So they can grow in your pond. Absolutely, they'd love the water, um, but they can also be grown in your perennial beds, your flower beds around the house or anywhere in a pot. Um, but they do like the dampness. They do like to stay wet. So if you have them in an area and they are not getting watered regularly and uh, the soil that they're in it dries out, um, they're not going to be very happy. They like the moisture, they want that water. So the more you know, um, water and dampness you can provide for them in the soil, the better. So therefore, your pond is absolutely an ideal situation for them. Um, they are a marginal plant, okay? You're gonna plant them around the borders of your pond in shallow water. You're not gonna put these things, you know, a foot down underneath the water. Uh, typically, I wanna set my pots up just, you know, an inch or just, you know, barely under the water surface. So we don't see the pots, you know, but the plants aren't buried in water. Um, and, you know, they can be uh, potted in your pond just like any other marginal plant. Um, I just take a pot, I put some gravel in the bottom, put some um, topsoil in that pot, put my cardinal flower in there, pack more topsoil around it, pack it nice and tight, and put some gravel on top of the pond to hold the um, top of the pot to hold um, the dirt in the pot so it doesn't get out into you know the water into the pond. And keeping that pot just you know an inch or two below the water surface really helps to keep the fish out of it, especially larger koi, so they don't dig it up and you know and make a big mess in your pond. Um, <laughs> Having a larger size pot um, on these plants is always a good idea. They don't need anything huge. They don't get like tremendously, you know, big, um, but they do need some stability and some room to grow, right? So, you know, these plants that get tall or two, three feet tall, having a nice big pot, maybe at least a three to five gallon container, um, is really nice because you know it gives you that stability so a taller plant doesn't blow over in the wind okay um, but otherwise yeah you know hummingbirds and butterflies are gonna love this stuff um, definitely really cool advantage to having cardinal flower in your pond or around your house and your garden is to attract those hummingbirds and butterflies um, I do have several um, hummingbirds here at my house that are around all summer long. I have hummingbird feeders and I keep this cardinal flower um, growing nearby and I also have, um, there's a uh, annual salvia, it's a blue and purple flower that they love and they are always at one or the other. <laughs> so <clears throat> it's very cool to see that. All right, so I think that kind of gives you a good idea of cardinal flower. Um, really, really striking plant in your pond. I mean, the flowers on this are just such a vibrant red. Um, and the rest of the plant, too, looks pretty cool. So it's a really, really neat plant for your pond. Um, hopefully you can um, find a garden center or, you know, a nursery or something around you, a big a perennial uh, store, flower shop that has these plants and you can easily pot it up and put it into your pond and enjoy it. Um, they will flower from midsummer into the early fall. So they do have a nice long period of, of flowering and um, yeah, really cool plant. All right, so thank you very much for watching. I hope that helped you out. Um, 
Yeah, if you had a chance to put a cardinal flower in your pond or around your pond, um, yeah, just keep them wet. They like the water and um, watch those hummingbirds come <laughs> and the butterflies. So take care. Thank you very much for watching today and hopefully we'll see you back soon in another video. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.